Greetings, Product Programmer. So today we are going to change our topic to deployment. And we are going to deploy our chat application here. So we're gonna deploy this application. For those of you that are watching on YouTube, just so you know, this chat application that we'll be deploying in this video is from the full version of my Phoenix Live View course. There is a free version, which is basically the first hour of the Phoenix course available for free. So you can actually build your first Phoenix application. But if you want to build the chat application that is demonstrated in this video, it's available inside the full course, although you don't need to have that application to still benefit and learn how the deployment process works by watching this video. So this video will still work and teach you how to do the deployment process of your Phoenix application. I'm gonna show you how quick and easily you can deploy Phoenix applications. And we're gonna use Fly.io to assist us. The reason I'm gonna use Fly.io is the creator of Phoenix, Chris McCord, works here. So you know that the deployment process for Phoenix is probably always going to be the most flawless here at Fly.io. And it's, it's a very quick and easy process to do. A lot of the uh, heavy work and heavy lifting is taking care of you. I want to show you this. There is a um, hands-on uh, tutorial here, and they're pretty good with their tutorials, but I don't like the way they did this in the, in the example here that you have the hands-on with Fly.io. They have you actually deploy a Docker container, and we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to deploy your Phoenix application. So this tutorial is good. Um, use it as a reference in case things have changed. The first thing that you need to do to use Fly.io is you do need to set up an account. I'm not going to go into all the details about how to sign up for an account at Fly.io. I'm sure you can figure that out. You just have to sign up and you know you have to log in and set up an account, enter your email and your password. It's pretty basic. The one thing I'll mention is you do have to enter your credit card information. They do offer a free tier, so you're not going to have to pay if you stay in the free tier. Uh, you can look at their free allowances that'll probably be updated as well at some point from the time that i record this video but it is free at the time of this video and it probably will stay free for a long time they'll probably continue to have at least a free option but the the price and plan um they have a hobby plan here so you're going to be on the hobby plan and you, it's kind of a pay-as-you-go model but you can use it for the app purposes of deploying your chat application and if you take your application down afterwards which i'll show you how to do You'll basically, you know, you won't pay anything to follow this tutorial at the time I'm recording this. So again, you will have to enter your credit card information when you come here and just as a disclaimer, so you're aware that you do have to enter it in order to actually use it, even though it's free, just because they'll try to charge you if you do go above the free plan. So just watch out for that. I don't want you to get charged accidentally if you weren't expecting to. But let's go ahead and let's deploy our application. What you need to do is you need to install the fly cuddle command, so fly ctl. So this is the way that you're going to deploy your application from the command line. So you'll just follow if you have Mac, you have Linux, you have Windows, you'll just follow the installation steps here. And uh, here's the sign up steps that they have on their, their tutorial. So I'll link this tutorial for you. After you sign in though, what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip um, the step four that they have because they have a hello world application. We wanna actually deploy our application. We don't wanna deploy this hello world um, Docker container. So we want to do this with our chat application. So to do this with our chat application, I'm here in the command line where our chat application is located. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to type fly CTL and you are going to need to do the login steps for fly CTL. So you'll need to do fly auth login. But after you've authenticated, you'll you'll be all set to go. But after you've done that to deploy your application, you'll just simply do fly CTL and you can do launch. And look how easy this is. It will actually just gather up all your source code. It'll package everything up for you. And it's going to ask you to create an app name if you want one. Um, you can also auto generate one. So if you create a name here, whatever you type here, this has to be unique. So if you try to use um, another name that somebody else is using on their on Fly.io, then you will get blocked and it will throw an error. So I'm gonna just hit enter to create a ran random one for the purposes of this tutorial, but you could do something like chat. That'll probably be taken already. So you wanna do like chat dash, you know, my dash app dash, and maybe some unique identifier but you, you'll wanna make that unique, otherwise you're, you'll be told to basically redo this step. So I'm just gonna generate a random one so I don't have to worry about that. Then you can select where you wanna do your deployment. 
And so you can select a location that's closest to you. So you have the lowest amount of delay, obviously. So this will make your application the quickest for you. So I'm just going to select uh, Chicago and uh, I'll use that. Now this will take a long time, so I'll probably skip ahead in this video, but for the our chat application, we did not use a database, so I can just hit enter or type capital N. So the capitalized uh, character that they display to you is the default, and I'm just selecting uh, the default here. Now we can we can uh, deploy right here. So we could type Y here to just go ahead and do our deployment. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll hit no, just you could hit Y and I'll take care of that, but I'll hit no just so you can see that if you accidentally hit entered everything, the way you deploy this is you type fly deployment or just deploy, I'm sorry. And that's the command that is suggested to you. So we'll run fly deploy and that will deploy our application. Now this will take a long time here to do the deployment, um, a pretty long time. So I'll go ahead and skip this video until after we get this installed and uh, see you on the other side. Okay, so that takes a couple of minutes to complete because what our fly CTL command is gonna do is it actually packages it up into a Docker container for us so we don't have to do any of that work on our end. And then it deploys it to the server. So if we also can run the command fly and we can do monitor, then we can see that it's not currently deploying, so that's already been deployed, but if we needed to monitor it while it was being deployed, which it did automatically for us briefly, and I missed recording that, but it would um, allow you to monitor your deployment if it was an active deployment. And so it's just saying, no, it's already deployed, you're good to go. And so what we can do now is we can just go ahead and we can open it. So we can do fly, um, well, we could also look at logs. I just wanna show you a couple of commands before I, I show you us actually using it. So we can actually check the logs, and this will track any activity that's happening on our application. This allows us to debug anything if we're having issues. So you have fly logs that you can do. Uh, we saw fly um, monitor, which we're not, that would monitor the deployment, but we don't have that happening. And we can do fly, we can also do fly status. Fly status will tell us the status of our application. We can see here that the deployment completed successfully. We can see that we have one instance running and it's healthy. So that's a good sign. So everything here looks good for application and it shows that it was created 13 minutes ago. So it didn't take 13 minutes to do the full deploy. I think it maybe took about seven minutes or so. It did take a little while for it to actually get live. But now that it's live, we can go ahead and do fly open and this will open up our application in our browser window. And so you can see that this is live on the web now and it created this random name uh, so wispy resonant. So if you decided to name yours, this is where your name would have been put basically. And then I can go ahead and I can open up, um, you know, we are deployed. And once we're in here, we have our application and we are live. And I'll take this and I'll go to another window and I'll just come in here and I will say hello. Hello, there's hello. And I can say, hey, and now I'm talking to another user. And now if I create another instance of this, so if I, if I go ahead and I duplicate this window, we'll add a third user here. And so we are live, dark, firm, messy, we are live. So all of our users are here and our application is deployed. And it's that simple with Fly.io, which is why I really like them as a deployment solution. They make it really quick and easy. They're kind of like the perfect alternative um, to Heroku. If you've ever used a Heroku, they're a great alternative uh, now that Heroku stopped offering the free plan and they're a great option for Phoenix applications because Chris McCord works there and he's the creator of Phoenix. So you know this is gonna be a nice smooth process for Phoenix applications. So yeah, we have a Phoenix 1.7 application live on the web right now, pretty cool. And we have our chat application deployed and you can follow these steps and you can do the deployment yourself. And I'll leave all of the commands that we ran in the comments below so that way you have those in the description and you'll know what to do. And I'll also link the official documentation just in case things change and if you want to follow the steps from their hands-on tutorial as well. Again, they show you how to launch an application that's already packaged in a Docker container for you. Um, and I wanted to show you how to deploy an application from your own command line because it's a little, you know, we don't have to worry about deploying the Docker container. It will, the command line tool will actually put it into a Docker image for us and handle all that complexity. So it makes it really easy to just deploy our application as is right after we finish building it. So, 
And then you'll be able to manage everything from your instance inside of your fly.io dashboard. So you'll be able to come into your application and do everything that you want to do with it. So we have our application running here, but let's say that we want to, I just refresh the page here. Let's say we want to destroy this application. We want to take this down. So all we have to do to take this down is run fly destroy. And then we need to run the name of our application. Uh, so we need to pass it in the app name which is the name that was auto-generated for us, Wispy Resonance, and then it has that number 8489. So we'll run destroy and, oh, sorry, I typed deploy. I meant to write destroy, <laughs> destroy. That's what I said, but that's not what I typed. So we wanna do fly destroy, and then we want to type Y to destroy this application. So let's destroy it, and then let's go back here. And our application may continue to run for a couple of minutes, but in a short little while, you'll see that this will stop functioning on the web. And okay, now it's stopped functioning. So now it's just spinning. And if I try to use it, it's not functioning anymore. So our application is no longer deployed, it is destroyed. So you've seen how to quickly and easily deploy your application to the internet. So congratulations, and I will see you in future tutorials where we'll do even more cool stuff. And now you'll know how to deploy those applications that you build in the future in this course or on your own.